We've seen anti-Semitism increase year on year pretty much over the last few years. Um, last year's, there was a 34% increase in recorded figures. Um, in large measure, that was due to incidents around May when Israel was taking military action in Gaza. And you always find whenever Israel is involved in uh, military action, anti-Semites take, uh, take it out on British Jews, as it were. Um, but there's a broader, I mean, that's, that's the specific for last year. But in terms of the sort of ongoing year on year trend in, in the last few years, I would say there's, uh, you, you've seen anti Semitism both on the left, the kind of Corbynite anti Semitism that's prevalent on social media, and on the right, old fashioned, as it were, the kind of, you know, old fashioned view of anti Semitism as kind of, you know, uh, the kind of fascist type type movements that that we've seen a revival of in some ways in in, in Britain. Um, I, I personally, I think the, the the thing that's given it the biggest impetus um, is the rise of social media, and it, it it leads to a question to which I don't actually know the answer, which is, and I think this is fundamental to understanding why anti-Semitism and other forms of hatred too are on the rise. Is it that Social media is creating uh, this kind of poison um, and, you know, people are feeding off each other, as it were. Or is it giving voice to a hatred that was always there, but has previously never had, a, you know, never had a mechanism to express itself? For what it's worth, my view is it's more likely the latter. I don't think people suddenly become Jew haters. Um, I think they probably had it in them. And... Only, you know, social media has given people that kind of, uh, as I say, given them a voice that previously they'd been denied. 